Hi, hello everyone, and welcome to my video on the first analog computer. We all know what a computer is, right? It's a device for looking things up, communicating bits of information, and watching videos for hours until you realize it's 3 a.m. and you haven't even started that project due tomorrow morning for English. But an analog computer is much simpler than that. It's a device that deals with certain numbers and certain sets of data, like thermometers and speedometers, for example. So tell me, what do you think the first one of these was? I'll wait. Keep thinking. Well, it turns out it was a device called the Antikythera Mechanism. This marvel of engineering could calculate astronomical positions of the moon, sun, and the stars, it could predict eclipses, it had multiple calendar displays, and it could calculate when the next Olympic Games would be. You know, the most important use for an object of this caliber. And it could do all this using naught but a set of 30 or so gears. So when do you think that this was made? Take a wild guess. Maybe 1400 AD? 1200 AD? Maybe it's more advanced. 1600 AD. Or even as far back as 1800 or 1600 AD. No, odds are you're probably not even close. This thing is estimated to be from 60 to 205 BCE. It's so old we didn't even know who made it. We found it off the coast of a Greek island in 1601. The confusing part about this is that the technology this advanced doesn't appear again until the 1400s in Europe, when they rediscovered the technology for this kind of apparatus and started selling it en masse. This means that in the time it took the world to figure out how to make clocks again, the Roman Empire rose and was destroyed, two major world religions were created, and 30 to 60% of Europe was killed by the Black Death. Great job, world. You did a really, really good job conserving those good ideas. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye-bye.